Hello there. Welcome back to The Closet Historian. Today, I attempt wig styling. Um, and I do mean attempt because this isn't how I was hoping it would come out. But in any case, I, I decided to... I was inspired by Rachel Maxey's recent wig styling tutorials on her channel, especially her most recent one, and I wanted to give it a try. So I decided to try following that tutorial um, and film it all, for all of you to watch me attempt to replicate her skills, which... We didn't quite get there, but uh, let's just jump on in and you'll see me give it give it a good uh, college try, as it were. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I I, uh, I kind of want to try on this wig just as it is, because I haven't had long hair in a long time. And I think it might be kind of fun um, before I... Uh, it already has kind of a little bit of a horseshoe cut, I would say. It's got like um, some angled layers going on, but we might do a more um, blunt horseshoe like Rachel does in her video. I, I trust her, she's very very good at this wig styling thing, so um, I trust her way of doing these things. Um, but I think I'm just gonna throw this wig on as it is, just uh, to see what I look like with long hair. Are you ready? Okay, um, I'm just wearing like my t-shirt from work today. Sorry, I didn't know if I'm recording, but I just wanted to try on this wig. Uh, before I try styling it because I haven't had long hair in so long and like This is what I would look like with long hair. I guess I feel very Like Morticia in the best way possible to be honest. I might order another one of these Wigs for when I feel like I want to have long hair Obviously I left my bangs down here, but I think my hair is dark enough right now that this black wig matches pretty well and this is what I would look like if I had long dark hair and no lipstick on. Um, I was actually at my day job today, so I'm looking a little ragged and rough here. But uh, this is what I would look like with long hair, you guys. I don't I keep looking in the viewfinder. I don't. I don't know how do we. How do we think? Do we think I could rock long hair? I haven't had hair like this long since I was 18, maybe. Uh, so a decade. I haven't had hair this long. Uh, but it's an interesting look, especially with the bangs. I had, I had longer straight, or I straightened my hair, longer straight hair with straight across bangs that were longer than this when I was like a sophomore in high school, so like 15, 16 years old. So I haven't had this hairdo since then, but, uh, I, I quite like it in black on myself here. It's a, it would take me about 8 billion years to grow my hair this long, or like, it goes from here to here quite, pretty quickly, but I don't know. What, how do you, what do you guys think? Me with long hair, weird, huh? But you know, we're not gonna leave it like this. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cut this wig, and or we're gonna cut it a little bit, trim it like Rachel does in her video, and uh, give it a bit of a midi, a little bit of a horseshoe cut here, and then uh, we will style this one. But I might place an order. This I think was like fourteen dollars for this wig, so I might buy another one for some future, you know, goth looks here because I'm, I'm feeling the Morticia-ish. Elvira-tastic hairdo here, more than I thought I would be. But uh, let me know, what do you guys think of me with long hair in the comments below? It's a look I haven't rocked in nearly a decade now. I've been bobbed for a long time, hence why we're playing around with wigs, because I'm going to stick to my bob, but uh, it's fun to play around a little bit here. It's going to be noisy, you guys. But I want to record in case I say anything interesting, which is unlikely. All right, so we have our wig here. We really should give her a name. Um, right now she looks a little like, you know, Morticia-ish. So let's call her Morty. All right, Morty. Thank you, Morty. Um, so sorry about this whole, you know, <laughs> pins in the head thing. Ooh, this is going to be such a problem that the freaking mannequin head doesn't want to stay. Mm -hmm. I don't often do anyone else's hair, so this is an odd um, thing here to even just do Morty the styrofoam's hair. But it would be so long, huh? How, let's see, how long does Rachel <laughs> cut hers? Let's reference what Rachel says because I'm Wet trusting the her. Ends of the hair so that Ooh, nope. it doesn't Back to where she's cutting it. U shape, so it's Check shorter U in shape. the front and then goes around to yeah, a big U in the back. I wish I could and like this helps a lot with clamp this down. So I'm not going to mm. show the actual cutting process. Oh, she's got hers on a post. Don't judge me. 
Oh, you know, we could do that, you guys. She's got hers on a tripod. Do that because you're going like to grow this way. Let's anyway. do that. So the ends are All right, we're going on a tripod. Be visible one. Okay, let's let's try it. Uh huh. Interesting, interesting. And then we put Morty here on the. Oh my God. Rachel's a genius. And so this hair, I believe, is too long. Um, Rachel seems to have cut hers shorter here when she was doing that horseshoe. And while this one does almost have a little bit of a layered cut already, this wig. Now again, like Rachel is saying, um, I, I also am not a hairdresser. Um, we're gonna give it a good, you know, chop here. I think this is a 20 inch wig. I will make sure I'll put that on the screen, whatever it actually is. Um, but I think it's a 20 inch wig. So we're about to cut probably a good, at least six inches off the longest bits um, right here. And I feel bad uh, doing this because this wig was so fun to play around with on my head. So I'm probably gonna order another one of these just to wear when I want long hair, I guess. So oof, we took off the bottom of her hair there into the trash. Um, so that's, you know, the extent of my hairstyling skills, guys. Non-existent. For my friend uh, who cuts my hair, if you're watching this, babe, um, why have you do it? Because, uh, yikes. Now we have, if this is her, her face here, I've actually done the opposite of what we want to do because the hair is going like this and we want it to go like this. Um, so let's just, you know, get in here, you know? What's the worst that could happen? I have to buy another $14 wig, which I don't know if you guys know this. That's not so bad um, as far as these things go. But we have this deeply rounded shape here, which is what you want for vintage hairdos, I suppose. I never have had a horseshoe cut this dramatic myself. I did have my friend give me a midi once. Um, but I ended up just not liking how it sat around my ears. I actually have a video, I'll put a card up um, to a video with me doing my hair when I had almost a midi haircut. Okay, so now we're gonna do the haircut proper way of doing this, which is where you take the pieces from the front to match each side here, because now that I've cut this front side so short on one side, I better do it on the other. Yeah. So that's how we can match this, so we will know what happened. We will know what happened. Okay. The trash can underneath was a small stroke of brilliance, I'm not gonna lie. So this is a super deep horseshoe. I uh, didn't exactly do that on purpose, but here we are, you know. Um, we all make mistakes and it's a little bit longer on this side still so let's just have a time back here even that out a little bit but as rachel says we're gonna curl this monstrosity so it doesn't really matter if the hair is jaggedy at the end because that's kind of a nice thing about if you ever give yourself a haircut and you plan on wearing it curly, is that like, you can give yourself a pretty jank haircut um, as long as you plan on never wearing it straight um, because yikes. That's the other thing about a midi too, is that like you really cannot wear your hair straight um, without it looking a little bit 70s almost. It just does not look good. Very deep horseshoe haircut here. Um, and it's about the same length on the other side. I mean, is it perfect? Again, no. But if I keep cutting, I'll make it worse. So we'll stop. And so now we can start doing the curls. So Rachel curled everything down and under. And she used these guys, so I'm gonna give these a try. And these are the one and one eighth of an inch size of this. That's kind of fun. Uh, anyway, um, let's see, how does Rachel, 
think she starts on the side. So perhaps we shall as well because we are following this tutorial. This is already super fun, and by that I mean a big yikes. Mostly because I layered it so much that of course, like when your hair is actually layered, um, when you're trying to do your own dang hair, um, the more layers you have in it, the more they fall out when you try and roll them into a curl, which is like the same kind of problem you run into when you're doing, let's say, a, so a foam roller set on yourself. And the way I usually kind of solve that if I have layers popping out of my curls um, and it's like you know extra nightmare tastic with synthetic hair which is what this is um, because it's so smooth like man you think you have straight hair but at least even straight hair is some texture compared to <laughs> synthetic hair um, so I'm just gonna hold the roller underneath here wrap the hair start to wrap the hair around who I wonder if you can use a curling iron on this hair Start to wrap that around here. Ooh, oh, it just springs right off of there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what have I done? I almost want to grab a curling iron and just give it a little bit of a start because this is a heat safe wig. Um, so you can hypothetically use an iron on it. So oh, let's see, let's give it a try. Okay, I have fetched us a curling iron to see if that can help get me started. I don't know how well it will work again on this synthetic hair, but if it melts onto this curling iron, that's why I grabbed my old one. <laughs> Just trying to plan ahead there. You can already tell that I did a better job cutting it on this side. Um, I just want to get the hair started in a curl pattern. For any of you who have very straight hair, I'm starting to understand why you're mad about it, possibly. Um, okay, so is this helping? I think it is helping a little bit here to have this pre-curled a little. Okay, so let's, yeah, this is definitely, while not perfecto, definitely easier than the other side where I was just wetting it. So... Yes. Oh my god, how does she get this so perfect? Rachel, you're a genius. Okay, um, I have a curl and I will take it, you know? I accept. I accept the curl. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. We have one curl. Okay. I'm kind of going, you can see where like the lines of the hair on a wig like this are sewn in and I'm kind of just grabbing sections based off of, loosely based off of that. Um, so once again, I'm going to take handy dandy hot tools curling iron here and kind of slide down to the ends and try and convince the ends of the hair that perhaps curls are a good idea. Right, so I have a clothes steamer here. I'm just gonna wait for that to heat up. And clean up a little bit here. We have some uh, pin into the thing, uh, into the case ASMR for you. Oh, oh, and me spilling them. Yeah? Is that good for anybody else? <clears throat> so far I have been doing this for an hour and 22 minutes according to the microphone, which I think it wasn't that bad. I think I'm complaining a lot more than I should be.
Luckily, I uh, grabbed some water earlier. Here's some I prepared earlier. I think my steamer holds less water than Rachel's does too, so she used two full, I think, refills, I think she said. So I should probably do at least that, if not more. Let that heat up again. Um, this is definitely the easier part of this compared to actually pinning the hair. Pinning the hair was hard. Steaming it, that's fine. Ooh. Careful not to drip burning water on yourself. Alright, fine. Goodness, is my arm tired from holding the steamer now? This is good arm day workout, that's what this is. Ow! Alright, I am done steaming. So this is all quite warm and moist still. Hopefully I did enough steam and hopefully I rolled it okay enough that this will come out tomorrow. Um, at least a little bit like it's supposed to. So. Now, as Rachel recommends, we shall leave it overnight to fully dry and set, and then we will brush, or I will, I always say we on this channel, I will brush it through tomorrow, and uh, we all together will see how it came out. So, um, Miss Morticia, Miss Morty with her upturned nose here, we will leave her, we will leave her, my darling, to, to dry, as it were. Um... I, I, uh, I'm glad that I had one of these foam heads, which actually did come with a wig. Um, I actually bought a wig on Hollywood Boulevard once, and it came on this. Um, if you want to get yourself a wig and you're in L.A., you could do worse than the uh, wig shops on Hollywood Boulevard. It's a, good, it's a good story as well, so check those out sometime if you're down there. But for now, I'm off to bed. Boop! And we will see how this turns out in the morning. Here we are. In the morning, looks the same. Or not the morning, the afternoon, next afternoon. Let's see what Rachel says about brushing it out. Okay, so apparently we start by taking out these friends, obviously. Um, so let's do that. Here she is. I'm actually going to put a couple more pins along the hairline here for while I am brushing this because I just feel like um, I'm gonna, wow, I'm already getting caught on those pins though. I'm gonna get vigorous perhaps and um, this thing's gonna come flying off of the stand or of the mannequin head. So I just have a denim styling brush here, which is that I use on my hair, which is why it's gross. Um, so I'm just gonna try and do a quick detangle with that and see what happens. That is done. We kind of are getting a little bit of a Dita Von ish situation on this side, so here's hoping. Just like I'm sure an actual brush that on your hair, the more, like Rachel says, the more you brush this out, the more you can kind of coax it into something sculpted. But I kind of like, I have the hand motions for when I'm doing this on my head. I don't really have the hand motions for when I'm doing this on someone else's head because I am not a hairstylist, as evidenced by that haircut, obviously. I also forgot to mention yesterday that I didn't actually trim the front of this wig. Um, because it wasn't a lace front, I didn't um, actually trim the front of it. Um, just because I thought I could get away with just putting the part behind my bangs and that would be okay. All right, I think that I'm not making any useful progress brushing the hair here on our poor mannequin head. Ooh. So hopefully, I can get somewhere once I have this on my head, but right now, I'm not feeling it. 
This could be a video of me failing to style a wig. That could be interesting as well. All right. Hopefully. I'm going to try and put this on my head and see if I can brush it out with my usual techniques more because uh, I'm quite used to doing my hair on my head and not at all used to trying to brush a mannequin's hair. So I'm going to go put this on my head and then try and figure out if that helps at all. So I'll be back. I mean, it is glam. We can definitely say that, but I, I just don't think it's the right era of glam that I'm going for here. Um, so here, here's the finished wig. Here, I'll turn around so you can get an idea of where I'm at. I kind of just popped it on my head, pinned it behind my actual bangs, of course. These are my actual bangs. Um, so I just have it kind of pinned on under that, but like, I just think it looks very 70s glam this current situation uh looks very like 70s disco glam as opposed to 1940s uh on me or 1950s even it doesn't really have that like 50s or 40s fluff look and i think there's two reasons that that has happened here um i think one is that i used those that blue size of roller and i think those are like one and one eighths of an inch roller. And I think I should have used one inch or smaller um, because even though it would have been even more curl to contend with, I think the larger roller help gave me a, like a 70s vibe. And then two, I think um, I just didn't cut the wig short enough. Um, I always say in my hair tutorials, especially my earlier ones, that if you have shorter hair, it's easier to make it look retro. And this is obviously like, I was hoping to have a half wig or full wig to mimic long hair, but this is just too long still. Um, so this, I think I could have cut, even though I cut off like five or six inches from the back, I think I should have cut off like 10 inches. Um, I think if this were six inches shorter, it would look much more, like it would be easier to brush into something that was much more 40s or 50s. Because it's so long, I really am getting like a Studio 54 glam 70s like sort of vibe from this. Um, and because my haircut was so not super. I think that's also helping with one side looking a little bit better and then this side kind of not. Um, so it didn't come out like I hoped, but I hope the adventure was still fun for you guys to watch. If I ever need a lot of glam hair, I have a wig now. Um, I don't think this is, uh, you know, in any way the tutorials that I followed's fault. I think I just needed to cut this wig shorter and then use smaller rollers. Um, however, this was a very, although, you know, slightly frustrating project to tr attempt. I think I will try again because this wig was only $14.99 on Amazon and I will link to this exact one in the description for you guys as well. So I think I'll buy two more of these and keep one long and straight because that was fun to try for a while. Um, so I'll keep one long and straight just to have on hand and then I will try cutting another one into a much more like I'll be much more accurate about cutting the midi U shape in to make sure like that it really is in there. Um, and then I'm gonna cut it much shorter, I think. Like obviously longer than my bobbed hair because I don't need a bobbed wig, wig I have one, um, but still not as long as this because I think this is just too long still. So it's giving us those more 70s vibes as opposed to 1950s or 40s ones. But um, it's still a very fun, fun experiment. First try wig styling. I am surprised how well it takes the curl. Um, I definitely deviated from the technique a little bit by using that curling iron, but it did help me be able to roll them into the rollers much easier. So I think next time, smaller rollers, shorter haircut on the wig. And then um, instead of doing three curls, I would think I would do four just because splitting them into smaller sections seemed to make it easier to roll. So those are the four changes, the four things I would do differently um, next time. If you guys want to see me attempt this again or try the next wig, because I'm gonna place an order on Amazon, for those wigs. Um, so if you would like to see me try this again, do let me know in the comments below if at least some of this was amusing, even if it didn't come out like I hoped in the end. I didn't succeed today, but I will try again in the future. Thank you as always for tuning in today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.